So today I thought I'd do a video on valve lash, which you need for uh, anything with solid lifters, which most of these lawn mowers are real simple oiling systems, so they don't have a lubricated lifter system, so they're all solid lifters. And this will work <clears throat> the same with cars, the same way I'll explain it here. So what you first want to do is get it to the, uh, the compression stroke. Now what the compression stroke is, if you don't know what that is, is it's when your piston is at top dead center with the, uh, well not at top dead center, but the stroke of where it comes into the compression stroke where both valves are closed and uh, in the pistons at the top here, both valves should be uh, fully closed at that time. So to set your valves, what you would do is you would hold your thumb here over your spark plug to tell if you're, uh, you're coming up on that cylinder or if you have a distributor, you could go by that. But this is a surefire way that never fails. And you would simply rotate your motor until you're at the peak of your compression stroke. And you'll usually hear it make a little noise as it blows your finger off. So when you're at top dead center on that cylinder, you can adjust your valves now, or your rockers rather, but how most of them work is they have a, usually a locker on them. When you use solid lifters, most people don't just use the, uh, the simple nut, like on cars they're here, but uh, this is a pivoting rocker arm where the adjustment's actually on the back of the rock rocker arm on this Briggs. But anywho, so usually you have lockers where you have two methods of adjustment. You'll have an actual adjustment and then you'll have a nut or a locker that'll lock it in like you see mostly on on cars. But the biggest thing is setting your valve lash right. Now when you get a cam usually they have a, a valve lash setting printed on the cam card and I'll show where that is. But, um, but that's a hot setting as well. So you need a, when things get hot, obviously they expand. So a fully expanded setting, which I think uh, a lot of comp cams run about 12. Um, anyway, the fully expanded setting isn't what you want to set cold. So I like to always set at least two feeler gauge values over that amount. So if it were to say 12, I'd set them to 14. Now on these lawnmower motors, what I would do is uh, if I don't know what it is beforehand and I have to take the head off, what I like to do before I tear everything apart is actually go in before I take anything out of adjustment and check each side and write them down. They're usually different. The exhaust valve will actually will usually be a bigger gap than the intake valve. So that's something to keep in mind. But well, that's one way you can go about doing it. So anyway, what you want to do is slip your feeler gauge in here. I got 13 right here. And you would want to turn this uh, nut down until it's snug but not tight. You don't want to tighten it down on it, but just so there's ever so slight bit amount of drag is what you're after. And if you can uh, be moving this back and forth while someone else helps you to uh, lock it in, that's even better, but you can do it on your own. So basically, I only have one hand here, unfortunately, but you would have, this is obviously your adjustment here on this Briggs. It's running me back and forth to where I have no lash back to where I have a lot of lash, as you can see. Anyway, with the locker, you'd want to hold, obviously, your adjustment in place and uh, set your locker in. So, usually on cars, this is actually the other way around where the nut is the adjustment and this is the locker, so you can have an open end or uh, 
boxed end side of a wrench on there and then just tighten down your your allen deal here and then that's usually how it is on this Briggs it's a little bad it's pretty backwards where you'd have to uh, hold this adjustment in place and then lock in or I mean excuse me hold this adjustment in place this allen adjustment and then lock in your wrench adjustment which really is pretty cumbersome but anywho that's the general idea of setting valves it's pretty important because when things warm up you'll be running your valves open but you don't want to have too much lash because then they're just clattering all over the place like this one is here with the way I have it adjusted but anywho it's pretty much that simple and you go through all the cylinders one by one on and set them on the compression stroke as opposed to having a, uh, a pattern when you're setting um, hydraulic lifters so anywho that's what you're after so I hope this uh, hope this helped and you're uh, understanding a bit